It's taken several months of careful construction and the majority of the main steel structures are installed. It's now the old meets the new, with some minor adjustments to be made as the building gets closer to being a state-of-the-art multi-purpose facility that can be utilised by all facets of the community. I'm the community representative on the committee. I've run the Estedford for um, a number of years. I've been on the committee for almost 20 years and was involved before that. The Estedford's one of the biggest um, events on the ARAC calendar and it also goes into supporting business and tourism then for ARAC. Um, the staff work very hard to change over with the multi-use because we use it for balls as well as theatre things. So, you know, things that will make it easier for them. The most exciting thing would be the gantry. Uh, to get rid of that old gantry and have the mechanical one is fantastic. The other exciting part for theatre users is um, the addition of a green room. Um, it will give us extra dressing room space which is desperately needed for the Estedford and for school productions because here in the country we have every student in a school um, and for the dance schools. Um, it'll be exciting for um, visiting groups as well to have a nice place to relax so I think that's been a great addition to the project. Works have progressed on the plastering and painting and the delicate task of wiring in the new smart gantry and stage installation, which requires masses of cabling. As the brickwork commences on the new gallery extension and the roofing starts to be installed, the building's increased footprint is now easily recognisable. Stay tuned for more video updates on this exciting project.